Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video we're going to be doing my May book haul and about half the books you've already seen um, if you've been watching the channel with that uh, second book outlet haul I did so we're just going to blast those real quick and out of the remaining half um, of the books a bunch of them are on the Hittites or um, ancient Near Eastern studies and I'm going to be doing a lot of research and uh, writing on the Hittites so that's why I got a bunch of those and there's a couple other books I think maybe like two or three more um, at the end that I've read this month, and I, well, one I really, really enjoyed, one was kind of meh, but we'll get to those at the end, so let's just get started. Alright, so we're going to start with some of the book, with all the book outlet haul ones, so we're just going to go through these real fast, and the first one is Cold Iron by Stina Lett, and this is the first book in the Mellorum Gates, and I got it because it's a flintlock fantasy, and that's like my favorite subgenre of fantasy. Next, we got The King's Justice, which is two novellas by Stephen Donaldson. I got The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu. Don't ask me why I got the paperback when I got the first one in hardcover. But I really like the um, first book, um, Grace of Kings, a whole lot, which is why I picked up the second one. Picked up the second book in the Shadow Campaign series by Django Wexler, The Shadow Throne. And I already read this one. I'll leave the link down below. The Lagoon, How Aristotle Invented Science by Armand Leroy. Will Panzo's The Burning Isle, which looks like a Roman fantasy of some sort, which looks interesting. Heat, Adventures in the World's Fiery Places by Bill Strever. The End of, or, well, Pagans, The End of Traditional Religion and the Rise of Christianity by James O'Donnell. A History of Joan of Arc by Helen Castor. Julius Caesar by Philip Freeman. And Verdun by John Mosier and Sopel's Lost History of the Most Important Battle of World War I. Alright, so those were the book outlet haul books that I got. Um, I'll leave the link to that video down below. So let's get started on the books you probably haven't seen yet. And we're going to start with a bunch of books on the Hittites. So we've got C.W. Serum's The Secret of the Hittites. And this is just, I guess, like a, a classical work. It's probably going to be a little dry. That's just what I've heard from uh, some of my friends who've already read it. But would we'll probably give it a shot once I get through all the other ones. Even though this one doesn't have a dust jacket, it's Hattusha by Kurt Patel. And Hattusha was the capital city of the Hittite Empire during the Bronze Age. Um, I picked up the fir uh, a first edition of the standard work on the Hittites, which is The Kingdom of the Hittites by Trevor Bryce. There is a second edition, which looks like it does have quite a bit of new material in it. Yeah, even though this one was like published in 1998, I believe in the second edition was like 2006, um, he did want to put a lot into this one that just didn't have time to get into it or something. Uh, but anyways, this is supposed to be like the gold standard work on the Hittites in English, so that's why I picked it up, and this is probably going to be my work book that I'm going to be referencing a lot in my material. You guys know I love my Osprey Publishing books down there, um, but I found out that they have new series, or not a new series, they have another series um, called uh, Fortress, and this is the number 73 in the Fortress series, and it's Hittite Fortification, 1650 to 700 BC. Uh, that's just really cool. Um, as you can see, it's got tons of really accurate um, illustrations and drawings and figures and cutouts and information, all that stuff. Um, these books are really cool. I really like them. Um, if you like pretty much any kind of um, ancient history or uh, warfare, even like modern uh, times, they have all kinds of books of pretty much anything you can think of. You should definitely go check them out. Uh, this one is by Konstantin Nosov and illustrated by Brian Delph. As of make, the making of this video, I am currently reading The Hittites by G.J. McQueen and the subtitles and their contemporaries in Asia Minor. The big selling point on this book is that it has 149 photos and illustrations and figures to help explain everything, which is a pretty cool um, concept, I thought. So yeah, this is the one I'm reading right now. I'm about 40 pages in and I'm liking it. 
Um, there's a couple books I got that kind of go with the Hittites, even though they're not on the Hittites specifically. Um, I picked up Ionia in the East by David Hogarth. And this, I was hoping, um, well, Ionia is like the southern area of Turkey that the Greeks um, had colonized uh, by the time we get to like Greek history. And I'm trying to see if maybe they uh, incorporated or adapted some Hittite culture um, into their own culture or traditions. So you know, anything like that happened. And that's why I picked up this book. And I picked up HWF SAG Civilization Before Greece and Rome, um, which pretty much covers all of like ancient Near Eastern culture, which the Hittites would be a part of. I have a couple other works by SAGs. Um, there's the Babylonians right there, Blue Side Edition. And then I also have a, a pretty beat up book. Well, oh, here it is. Everyday Life in Babylonia and Assyria. And as you can see, it doesn't even have the like spy in anymore. It's just completely destroyed. But um, he's a very reputable scholar, which is why I picked up this one to see if I can uh, see if there's any more on like the social and daily life going on with the Hittites that the other works might not um, pick up on. And actually, I probably should put this one in too. Um, from interlibrary alone through my local library, I was able to pick up uh, Trevor Bryce's Life and Society in the Hittite World, which is sort of a companion book to the other Trevor Bryce um, work. And this obviously deals a lot with just like these sort of, sort of a social occupations and cultural mores and stuff like that. So yeah, this one definitely looks interesting. I'll probably have to, I'm going to have to read this one this month because it's going to be due in probably three or four weeks. But yeah, well, I didn't want to buy this one just because it was kind of expensive. So that's what your libraries are for. There. All right. So there we have the book out books and all the Hittite and Near Eastern books. And that leaves only three books remaining that I got this month that were of another different topic. Um, let's get started. I picked up uh, at a at a used bookstore. Well, I used media store, but they had some books, and it's the only one I could find that I thought was really interesting. It's called *In the Company of Crows and Ravens* by John Marsloff and Tony Enjo. And I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's just a bunch of um, short stories and traditions that they kind of collected as they traveled around um, about crows and ravens. And we pr we kind of have like a pet raven that hangs around the house. Um, I call him Corvus Rex just because he's so big, but. Yeah, he pretty much hangs around. So I, we like crows and ravens around here. Um, we have a whole friggin' tote of bird seed and bread and stuff that we feed all the birds around here every day. So that's kind of why we pick up a lot of um, bird books in this house too as well. But yeah, this one looked pretty interesting. Well, I wanted to read some books on the dinosaurs um, just because I kept seeing the rise and fall of the dinosaurs. So I ha picked up um, Dark Matter of the Dinosaurs by Elisa Randall. Unfortunately, there's not too much dinosaur material in it per se. Um, it's very, very, very heavy on the science and the physics and cosmology of everything. And, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do, like, a book review at some point. But, yeah, I already read this one. Um, I have the written review already up on the website. But, yeah, it was a little bit too heavy on the science for my taste, especially for Dark Matter and the dinosaurs. But um, go ahead and check out that review if you want to, and I'll have a video review coming up soon. And, lastly, my favorite book that I got, well... My favorite probably book that I read this month was The Poison King, The Life and Legend of Mithridates, uh, Rome's Deadliest Enemy by Adrian Mayor. And this is like a super hardcore biography of Mithridates. Um, and what I mean by hardcore is I mean it's just like a full entire bi biographical account. She does do a little bit of skepticism, or excuse me, not skepticism, um, speculation to fill in a lot of the gaps. Like, for example, like his teenage years, which we don't really know anything while he was in exile. But if you guys don't know, Mithridates was an enemy of Rome in the first century BC, uh, for the most part. And he he's called the Poison King because he assassinated lots of people with poison. But he also was basically like a poison scientist. And he tried to come up with new antidotes and new poisons to kill people with. And then antidotes to protect himself with. And he probably ate poison like most of his life to build up immunities to different kinds of poisons. So yeah, he was a pretty hardcore guy. Um... Really interesting, really well done. The book itself is really high quality. There's lots of plates. Um, it's like heavy, you know, and it's just got a really nice dust jacket. and just You know what I mean? You can just tell it's like a really cool book. I was really pleased to find out about this book. It was published, I think, in 2009 or 2010. Uh, I had never heard of it before. I'd never seen it. Um, but just like browsing Goodreads, I saw it and I was like, that it looks really cool. And I'm glad I picked up and got a five-star read out of it. But there you guys go. Those are all the books I picked up. Fail. Those are all the 
those were all the books I picked up in the month of May. Uh, let me blah, 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 blah. let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys like the Hittites or Mithridates or any of my book Ella Hall books or anything like that, uh, just tell me your thoughts if you've read them or you're interested in them. I'd like to hear what you guys think. And always remember, read victoriously.